Now, according to a new survey, more than 40% of Brits under the age of 30 believe that traditional fairy tales such as Hansel and Gretel and Little Red Riding Hood are inappropriate for children. As many as 90% of those surveyed said that fairy tales were too old-fashioned and to be read as bedtime stories, and 89% said they perpetuated gender stereotypes. Hansel and Gretel, in which two children roast a cannibalistic witch to death in her own oven, was deemed the most inappropriate amongst members of Generation Z. Ugh, with 46% saying it was an inappropriate bedtime story. To break down this story, I'm joined by John Milbank, Emeritus Professor of Theology and Religious Studies at the University of Nottingham. Good to see you, John. Thank you for joining us. I can't, I can't, honestly can't get my head around this, so you just break this down for me, please. Uh, the findings of the survey show that a lot of young people under the age of 30 don't understand the role of fiction in the lives of children. I think it's incredibly disturbing. It suggests that people are totally alienated from their own culture. They no longer understand what fiction means. And above all, they no longer understand children because children don't discover danger from stories. Children already know about danger. Children already have to overcome fears. And children love role-playing and extending their imagination. It's part of their practicing for adulthood. It's part of their wondering uh, about what values are. And these very, very traditional stories that are the products of centuries of distilled collective folk wisdom are exactly um, what help them to do that. They, they're kind of dusky stories that exist between daytime and twilight, between the conscious and the unconscious, between the earthly and the unearthly. And that's exactly why they need to be read to children um, at bedtime. Absolutely. Fairy tales are meant to be adopted and passed down to the next generation. That's the purpose of tradition, isn't it? But is the problem here not that Generation Z do not respect or understand the importance of tradition? Yeah, well, that's, that's their problem. I mean, the idea that they necessarily know better than, you know, accumulated generations of wisdom is just peculiar. And this doesn't necessarily mean that we agree about everything, that, that you know, we don't agree about everything in, in Shakespeare, you know, for example. Yet that doesn't mean that he doesn't have something to teach us. And sometimes it's the very otherness of these stories that, that matter. And I think it's significant that children are really more at home in a world of kings and queens and fairies and princesses than they are in the modern world, because the, there is a sense in which children have to repeat the childhood of the human race, if you like. So they first of all understand symbols and metaphors before they understand um, uh, ab abstract concepts. Yeah. Um, and, and, and to deprive them of all that is appalling.